the call. Our next presenter is a return presenter to Prachaksha NAIS. He was here last year. He's back uh, from the Catherine Del Mar Burke School in uh, the Bay Area. His talk is called, If the Answer is Googleable, Is the Question Worth Asking? Please welcome Mike Matthews. Capital of Florida is Tallahassee. Yeah. North Carolina is Columbia. No, no, that's not right. North Carolina is Raleigh. North Carolina, Raleigh. Got it. Wait, why do we have to learn this? That's the question I asked my fourth grade teacher amidst our state capital memorization exercise. I expected to hear some version of, because that's what we learn in fourth grade. Her answer surprised me. She said, you need to learn the state capitals in case someday you're on Jeopardy. (laughs) I thought about it. It, That made sense. Uh, It would be cool to be on Jeopardy. And so back to the flashcards I went. State capitals were just the beginning. I had flashcards for everything. I had flashcards for the names of polygons. I had flashcards for the names of the bones in the human body. Flashcards for Spanish weather vocabulary. I even had a flashcard for every element in the periodic table. Years later, many of the facts that made it from my flashcards into my short-term memory have since escaped me and I never made it on Jeopardy. Instead, I found myself in my own classroom teaching middle school science, a (coughs) discipline in which there's an ever-growing list of facts that one could memorize. A few things in the world changed that made me rethink what I was teaching and what I was asking my students to do. Google, widespread internet access, and the ability to look for an answer on Google virtually anywhere. What are the names of the bones in my forearm? When was Californium discovered? I googled those yesterday. In 17 seconds, I had answers to both. And the only thing that slowed me down was my typing. With answers such a quick search away, is the trivia that I learned from my flashcards now trivial? To ask that another way, if the answer is Googleable, is the question worth asking. To answer that question, I find myself reflecting on my time as a student and as a teacher, thinking about the most engaging, the most captivating, the biggest aha moments. They weren't moments related to discrete facts. Instead, they were moments where ideas came together, where I was able to see connections between ideas moments of understanding. You see, though, it's not that the facts don't matter. In fact, they do. Facts become relevant. They gain and acquire meaning in the context of understanding. When understanding is our goal, learning is more engaging, more relevant, and more easily applied. Someone who knows can label a diagram. They can match words in column A, definitions in column B. They might even make it on Jeopardy. Someone who understands can apply what they know in new contexts, in new situations, and for new purposes. I decided to rethink what I was teaching in my science classroom, starting with my transfer unit. It was a unit where I wanted to shift away from definitions game to be understanding that put the microphone back on the stand through systems small and large near and far I showed a video of a lava lamp as the quiz at the end of the unit a student immediately raised her hand she said but mr. Matthews you didn't teach us about lava lamps that was the point exactly understanding is future oriented 
Imagine that student down the road. She's at a summer camp on a sweltering hot day in the cabin about to pick her bunk. If she knows, she complains that it's hot. If she understands, she gets that warm air rising means a cooler bottom bunk and she chooses accordingly. When we make our classrooms spaces centered around understanding, we transform them into places where the question is more interesting, where the answers are more interesting as well, and where students know why they're learning what they're learning. I'm currently working as the Director of Curriculum and Program Innovation at Catherine Delmar Burke School, or Burks. It's a K-8 girls school in San Francisco, California. Our mission is to educate, encourage, and empower girls. I've had the privilege of leading our work rethinking our K-8 program with understanding in mind. It's challenged us to rethink tried and true units and projects. It even required our designing a teacher-created app to support the designing of curriculum that was centered in understanding. This work, it's been neither quick nor easy, but it has been transformative. Because you see, when we think about all the things we want our graduates to be, allies, advocates, global citizens, citizen scientists, engaged community members, these are not things you can do armed with facts alone. Empowerment requires understanding. And if you want empowerment, you had better be asking far more interesting questions than what's the capital of a particular state. And so we are. At Berks, we're asking more interesting questions. Questions like, how does race shape my identity? Whose story isn't being told? What does it mean to be healthy? Why is the state capital the state capital? The answers to these questions are far more interesting. They're not Googleable. They don't fit on the back of a flashcard because they're not just questions worth asking, they're questions worth answering. Thank you.